All right. Uh, the next element that we are going to discuss is on the types of control. There are three types of control being implemented in uh, in some organization or in any type of organization. Uh, the first one we have the preventive control. Uh, this is the type of controls that focuses on detecting undesirable materials, financial or human resources that serve as inputs to the transformation process. This also sometimes being called as a feed forward or steering control. Uh, the second types of control, we call it as a concurrent control, uh, which focuses on the transformation process to ensure that it is functioning properly. And finally, we have the co corrective control where we focus just on discovering undesirable output and implementing corrective actions. And in organizations, sometimes they use multiple focal points where we use several control system focuses on various phase of the transformation process. So what are the barriers to successful control? Number one, long-term and versus short-term production. Burdens to manager because they need to ensure that planned performance and actual performance are equivalent in the short-term and long-term production quotas. And then number two, employees' frustration and morale. When management exerts too much control and too rigid, employee morale tends to be low and frustrated because they think that there is no freedom for them to do a work job. A good job. For example, when you exercise too much control, of course, this would create an uncomfortable situation among the employees and this would affect their uh, performance. The third barrier is the per perspective of organizational mem members. Although controls can be designed to focus on relatively narrow aspects of an organization, manager must remember that prospective corrective action is not only relation to the specific activity being controlled, but also relation to all organizational units. So meaning to say that when you want to implement a corrective action, sometimes it would affect the whole departments, all departments within the organization. The fourth, the fourth one is the means versus end. Control activities are not the goals of the control process. They are merely the means for eliminating problems. Corrective actions are activities that can be justified only if they yield some organizational benefits that exceed the cost of performing them. <clears throat> and the last one is filing of reports. Employees may perceive that management is based on corrective action solely on departments record with no regards uh, for extenuating circumstances. If this is the case, they may feel pressured to falsify the records. And lastly, we are going to discuss in terms of the criteria for effective controls. There are several criteria. There are five actually. The first one, uh, if you want to implement an effective control system, your elements that you are going to use in terms of uh, assessment or controlling activities must be related to organizational strategy. If it is not related to the organizational strategy, your employees would not feel the need in order for them to do that successfully and they could not, uh, they could not fully understand why are they going to be assessed differently uh, and not based on the organizational strategy. And you need to utilize all steps in the control process, uh, one, two, three, and four. Uh, you must employ everything. You must uh, implement first. You must identify what is the key performance indicator, and then you must to measure, and then you must uh, make the comparison, and then you must take corrective actions if the deviation is not acceptable. And then composed of objective and subjective measure, a good control system, they have a blend of quantitative and qualitative measure, and then incorporates timeliness in the feedback reporting. Uh, timeliness is the degree to which the control system provides information when it is needed. And finally, it must be acceptable to a diverse workforce. To be effective, organizational control uh, must be accepted by employees. Uh, the control system should motivate workers to recognize standards and act to achieve them. So that would be the end of this chapter. Thank you.